subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. This year of 2020 has truly been eventful in terms of news and especially bad news relating to nature and science as the consequences of our own actions come back to bite us. And one of the most important aspects of this overwhelming and constant bad news this year is that we are getting a preview of what our new normal is going to be like as the climate crisis worsens every day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about birds that seem to be dropping dead from the sky in parts of the US. I have no idea and what is triggering this, which is one of the largest migratory die-offs among birds in this century. My name is Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. The country of America has been a prominent example in the last couple of months when it comes to the number of things that can go wrong in one area in terms of climate. We know that while one coast is suddenly now facing five potential hurricanes that are battering it with water, the other side is choking on fire and smoke which is extending all the way up to multiple countries. This area has never seen so many fires simultaneously at this scale before and while the issue of immediate economic damage will be geographically confined to some states in the west coast of the US, the smoke from this fire will travel all over the globe through layers of atmosphere and it will have effects everywhere. The most notable impact of course will be felt nearby and the latest findings show that currently this impact is being felt by migratory birds that pass through the region where fires are burning right now. In the US states of New Mexico, Colorado, Texas, Arizona and Nebraska in southwest US, scientists are quickly trying to figure out the exact reason why large numbers of migratory birds are simply dropping dead from the sky. Migratory birds, the ones from the tundra region and arctic landscapes like Alaska and Canada, migrate southwards to reach South America and pass through this region in the US in the process. Citizens of these states have reported finding dead birds everywhere around them. They have found birds outside of their houses, on golf courses, in college campuses, on roads, in parks, just everywhere. Some of these birds include swallows and warblers and flycatchers. Many scientists and ecologists have gone out and collected these dead bird specimens and carcasses and have studied them. Avian ecologist Alison Salas mentioned on Twitter that the majority of dead birds they've been collecting are insectivores and long-distance migrants. Carcasses of these birds seem to have almost no fat reserves or muscle mass. In some birds, the method was death was confusing, scary and concerning. It seemed that some birds just nosedived to the ground when in mid-flight. Biologists and other scientists from universities in the area say that these birds are all just feathers and bones and have been starving to death. It appears, as Salas says, that they've been flying until they just couldn't fly anymore. Normally, during the season, dead birds are indeed reported in this area, even migratory birds that die. But these deaths are usually just a handful. A local television report stated that normally over weekends, authorities receive information about dead birds that number in maybe a dozen. But this time, over the last weekend, the reported numbers rose up to hundreds in an unprecedented manner. Many dead bird carcasses have been sent to the National Wildlife Health Center for analysis and then we'll find out more. But it appears that Migratory birds are the only ones that are being affected. Local bird life that resides in the area where the fires are burning and around the geographical area don't seem to be so affected. Resident birds are fine. And even among dead migratory birds, there isn't a lot of external evidence that they've been inhaling a lot of smoke. 
Some reports have suggested that birds have been displaying erratic behavior before dying, becoming lethargic, allowing humans to come near them or touch them and also grouping together. It seems that lots of birds were found on the ground, grouping together, hunting for insects or just foraging instead of nesting up in the trees. While the cause for all this abnormal behavior and subsequent deaths is likely to be the rampant wildfires altering migratory patterns, the US also faced a cold weather front last week from the northern latitudes, bringing autumn or fall-like temperatures in the region completely unexpectedly and abnormally. Additionally, Prior to the fires, which were mainly triggered by dry lightning, there had been a period of dryness and drought which made the conditions very conducive for large-scale wildfires. Furthermore, apart from all of these wildfires, for the birds passing through, there's barely any food or water here either as the areas where birds have been dying have been desert landscapes. Examining bird records back all the way to 1800s shows that such large mass die-offs of birds are not unheard of but are not common. There have been very few avian mortality events as big as the ongoing one right now in the US. Migratory birds sustain large ecosystems and play the crucial roles of pest control and pollination. They eat insects, saving food and crop. They also act as natural controls to the ecosystem, not letting any kind of ecological pests such as worms or insects expand in population. They help disperse seeds and they also help pollinate flowers. Loss of migratory birds can have a cascading impact on ecosystems over a wide geographic area which is not separated by national borders. Meanwhile, the fires here continue to rage. Over 5 million acres of land has already burned. Six of the largest 20 fires in the region's history have occurred this year, with many of them burning simultaneously together. Hundreds of thousands of people have been evacuated, thousands have lost their homes and dozens have died. Unfortunately, all of this is only expected to get worse. All these fires are emissions leading to a huge spike in carbon emissions for the year and the highest fire carbon emissions ever for the state of California. Now, as the fires continue to burn, meteorologists are modeling smoke dispersion patterns and its effect on the rest of the world. Smoke from the US West Coast fires has reached not just the opposite coast of New York and Boston, the East Coast, but also Europe. Weather experts think that this smoke will now blow all the way around the world. Thank you for watching this video. Please follow our YouTube channel and our social media accounts and subscribe to the print.